Hello, Jay Barino here. Welcome back. We're playing the Warcraft 2 Tides of Darkness remake created by Lord Paranold the second in Warcraft 3. We're on to the second act now, Cosmodon. I think maybe this means we're going to play as the dwarves. Would there be a dwarven subfaction? I don't I don't think so. I don't know. Let's just see what this is. Uh, so I guess in this first act, we primarily were playing as the Azeroth subfaction. We had one mission as Dalaran. And then let's check out, uh, let's check out act two. My understanding is that you're supposed to see a, a significant faction shift, probably against who we're playing against, too, so we'll have to learn about the different orc sub-factions. Enhanced, please. Although the Horde has been driven from the shores of Lordaeron, it has left the townships of Hillsbrad and South Shore in ruins. It is clear that the war will cost the Alliance dearly. Impressed with your victories against the Horde and the destruction of the Zul'dair base, the High Command has decided to dispatch you and your troops to the main battleground. The forces of Stromgard and Kul'Taras are stationed along the northern border of Cosmodon, fighting to keep the orcs from advancing into southern Lordaeron. An orcish outpost nestled near the ruins of the ancient dwarven city of Dun Modra has repeatedly beaten back Alliance troops and ravaged the surrounding farmlands. You must reclaim the nearby island keep at Tol Barat and then launch an attack upon the outpost. Gather around and listen up. There's good news and bad news. The good news is that reinforcements are on their way from the Northlands. The bad news is that our perimeter is widely exposed to orc attacks and the outpost has been heavily sabotaged as well. Our blueprints have been stolen and our farming training equipment has been compromised. Select and deploy your troops carefully as food supplies are very limited. Battle stations people to arms. Okay, so if I'm understanding that correctly, that means we can't build anything, at least for the first part of this mission. So don't try to. Also, we're red now? Let's see what that means. Yeah, we're red now. Peasants, please. Yes, Lord. What is it? Reclaim Tolbarad. Destroy Dun Modra. Tolbarad's under attack not only by militant orc forces. It looks like spies have rampaged through the outpost, causing malfunction to the facilities. Manpower recruitment has been halted due to defective equipment. Buildings construction is impossible due to bl blueprints theft. Only the remaining local militia can be spared for defense before reinforcements from Azeroth will arrive, and Strom Guardian footmen are not known for their defensive capabilities. Once a foothold will be reestablished, you can use the combined Azeroth Strom Guard forces to attack the seemingly impenetrable orc outpost at Dune Modra. Okay. Strom Guardian labor with a slight plus in attack damage. Can benefit from attack upgrades. The peasants? I mean, who cares, right? I, I, I guess we could go mass peasants. <laughs> I'm not going to, but we could. Footmen. Can get attack up to level 3, but defense only to level 1. Has passive battle hunger and fiery spirit. Strom Guardian, battle hardened warrior. So it seems like Strom Guard is just more offense focused. Or, or rather... Damage focused. I don't want to say offense focused. Damage focused, uh, less uh, survivability focused. Higher damage and speed, lower armor and stamina. With battle hunger, a portion of the attack damage dealt to a target is regained as health. So they have life steal. How much? Fiery spirit is a passive ability which increases attack and movement speed. Okay. Wow. I see. I see. Um. Can we even get in and out? from up there? Because if not, that means they can only attack us from down here. Yeah, we can't get upgrades. I can build three more units. We can get Ballista eventually. I guess let's just build, uh... You need. I I'm, I'm a little nervous. I don't know which direction they're gonna attack us from. I assume it's down here, because where... How else would they be able to get to us? But I, 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 I'm not sure, so... I guess let's just sort of get into position down here and hope that this is correct. <laughs> I don't know. And if it's not, I can always reload. Or just, you know, react and not lose. That seems like the better option rather than just being like, Oh no, one guy made it through my perimeter. Better restart. Bleeding Hollow Grunt. 
33% of its attack damage. Okay, that's pretty significant. Well, okay, 33% is, you know, could be, you know, one or two. It depends on the damage roll. Um, I'm gonna get more archers. The, the issue here is that, like, this is a really tight choke point. Is my aid required? So we need our archers to be able to clump up and hit stuff. We can let them come into the choke point here. I guess this. I think this is the right way to do this. We, we need to persistently reinforce the front line. Also, we only need to hold out for three more minutes, which is not necessarily super easy, but you know, we'll see how easy it is. I, I like that lifesteal, though. Um, anything, any sort of like persistent healing in these in Warcraft Two, like it's it's solid. Uh, I'm curious to see how good Paladin healing is. Yeah, so see, these guys are on the other side of the barracks. I can't build any more units. I'm, I'm maxed out on my... I'm maxed out on my uh, on my stuff here. Bleeding Hollow Troll. I'll read about these momentarily. I just want to make sure I will not currently lose. Let him in, let him in. Yeah, we don't want to lose the barracks. I could repair the barracks as well. Is my aid required? Ready for action. Okay, so we can... I think this is a decent split. Two and two. We can move one archer down here. Two minutes. Let's quick save. And again, we're maxed out currently, so there's really not much we can do. So we got five, and f we got five on each yes. side. Um, let's read about... Let's read about the enemy here. Bleeding Hollow is the is the orc faction we're against. Can learn defend. Uh oh. The Bleeding Hollow clan specializes in espionage and trickery. Thus, their warriors do not excel in hand-to-hand -hand combat. Thank goodness. They can upgrade attack and defense only once. They can learn defend, which halves damage from incoming piercing attacks, which is really solid. I think, especially when you're attacking enemy bases, when there's just like a menagerie of towers scattered throughout them. Uh, I mean, we're not playing as Bleeding Hollow, but presumably in the Orc campaign, we can take advantage of that. Same with if we ever play as the Azeroth faction again. Um, if we can get defend on those guys, on those footmen, that's going to be good when we attack enemy bases. This strain of trolls has shown tenacity and its subtlety. They can shadow melt during nighttime, and their berserker counterpart sacrifices its signature regenerative ability in favor of a formidable evasion skill. Interesting. Okay, so... I think this is the difference between, like, Elven Archers and Elven Rangers, right? I think eventually you upgrade from the Archers to the Rangers. Similarly, they upgrade from the Axe Thrower to the Berserker, I think, is how this is generally, how this is supposed to work. Okay, we have exactly one additional unit, so, like, this is, this is a little spicy. I also don't know if they, if they start with Defend. Because if they start with, I think then if they start with defend, then we don't want to make range. We don't want to make um. If we don't want to make archers, we want to make pretty much exclusively footmen. One minute twenty-eight. We can repair this barracks eventually. What I don't like is once we get control of our actual base. Well, actually, we probably just want to we want to harvest through these trees up here as fast as possible because I would like to be able to navigate around my base without having to go down through this tiny opening in the wall. Unless we can destroy the walls. We can. We can. We can attack the walls. We can consider that later. For now, I think we're in fine shape. Um, okay, hang on. We're pivoting. We're pivoting everybody. Oh, hello. Reinforcements on the way. Don't worry. Wow, okay, well. That's fine. Again, if they are attacking buildings, that's fine. Pivot. Those are just axe throwers. What's the worst they can do? I mean, this is this is very much like, how could I have known, dude? So, we do our best. We could probably just leave these dudes alive. Let them, let them kill the lumber mill. What, what, again, what's the worst they can do? Don't die. Don't die. Okay, good Good work. I don't want to risk losing the barracks. I'd rather lose the lumber mill than the barracks. Let's keep most of our units up here. 
What I could do is leave one unit... No, never mind. Reinforcements have arrived. Additional resources have been supplied. Can I build buildings now? No, I cannot. I bet I can build buildings with these guys, though. Yeah, okay. Start with oil tankers as well. Having to load these up is... I'm not thrilled about it, but, you know, dropping is dropping. Okay, and we can't build anything. All right, get up here. We might lose that barracks, which means we won't be able to build the Stromgard dudes. That would be a bummer. Ooh, I can, I can control the flying machine now, too. That's really handy. No, no, don't attack it, though. <laughs> I think we're going to save the barracks just in time. Build a town hall to restore Trom Stromgard's blueprints. Will do. Can I find a, another... I'd like to find another island instead, if possible. They gave me frigates, right? Yeah. See, there's a gold mine up there. I think... This is really aggressive. I'll quick save now, because this might just end up being a mistake. Let's bring over some units over here. Unload up here, and we're going to build our Azeroth base here, and then we've got Stromgard elsewhere. I see some oil down here. I'm going to start getting through these trees. No, don't go around. Again, they, they really like going around. Okay, and then you come on over to this gold mine. Where can I build my town hall? I can't build on this mud. It seems like whoa! I should just I should be leading with these dudes. By the way, spear throwers. Again, we'll check on that stuff momentarily. Let's leave our defensive force sort of right here. This guy we've got to bring. I guess we'll load him up and bring him to my other base instead. Boats and boats. Okay, there's no other enemies up here. Can I fit? Can't quite fit it in there, so I guess we have to put it down here, unfortunately. That's okay. Again, let's quick save. We can get the Strom Guardian base set up. I like how we can build both factions, too. I wonder if we have to get upgrades for both, though. That could be a bit tedious. Um, where is my... Yes, load this guy over here because we want to bring him over to build farms up in this direction. Now, technically... No, Tolbarad still needs to live. This must technically... That town hall must be Tolbarad. Once we get through these trees, then we can build our shipyard there, which will help connect both of these bases. I don't know what just happened or what was getting attacked, but I think it's okay. Building blueprints, farming, training equipment, and elven craftsmanship have been supplied. You love to see it. Now we just need more farms. You can upgrade your town halls into keeps. Okay. I can also build towers. Um, just build a f just build another farm. We'll worry about that other stuff later. Okay. Th so these factions, it looks like they share... It looks like they're going to share resources and upgrades, which is a blessing. Um, let's get a shipyard. We can build an oil refinery closer uh, down the left of the shoreline later. Okay, let's repair my boats. Let's build some dudes to get this saturated. We can build a lumber mill in there as well. I don't know if the different lumber mills would give us access to different upgrades or what. Okay, and then one more farm hopefully gets us where we need to be. Okay, so I wonder, like, can you build a church? No, you build a Gnomish Inventor, but these guys can build a, a church, right? Yeah, so we might want to bring one back, or we can we can always move units back and forth as necessary. Um, I'm going to grab a lumber mill here. Um, where's my scout? 
Let's just kind of go around everything. And then we'll leave him over here where he can see the Zeppelins incoming. Okay, and then we can get uh, we can get a couple towers over here. Okay, lumber please. Give me an oil tanker. Be careful we don't accidentally draw that into my other base. We could kill it with our... With our destroyers, though, if we needed. So the Zeppelins are... They're flying pretty much right over us. We don't need cannon towers. Then we want to build another one up here. Blah. That, that that unable to build here noise is <laughs> blunt. Oh, I already had a, an oil tanker. Well, now I've got two. That's fine. Oil platform is 450 lumber. We're doing okay on gold right now, so let's just get a few extra guys on lumber on each island. I think just getting these couple guard towers up is absolutely worth it. They also build really fast. Ah! My foot, my footman can't attack boats, I recall. So you guys back up. They're getting wasted. Yo, single guard tower is going to do it, though. Look at that. Let's try and keep these dudes alive. Okay, you got on gold. And we get a few more guys on gold down here. And then we'll go for a keep. Okay, that's, you know, that was fine. That was acceptable. It, it, was, it wasn't it was great, but it it was fine. Let's bring one of these guys back so we could build Azerothian structures down there. Like, I'd like it to get a church down there. Not much room to build here. Ah, no, see, I think that's a Strom Guardian. That look, it looks red. I'm not sure. I'm not sure how it's going to work. Good work. You're fine. You're going to be fine. Okay. This is, a, this is a bit dicey. This is a bit dicey. We need some more units. Got on Lumber down here. Get those other guys on gold. Get some Elven Archers. Let's, uh, let's repair here. Get the oil platform. Then we can get the oil going to get some more frigates. You bring the Azeroth guy down here. Guard tower's looking good, and I'm probably just going to get another one here. Okay. Now let's get a church. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now we're cooking with gas. Okay, get the super, super good arrows. The, the even better arrows. It doesn't seem like they're attacking down here, that's for sure. Does it seem like some of my peasants move faster than others? Okay, cool. Then we need a foundry and an oil refinery. I mean, we don't necessarily need an oil refinery, but I think it will help. And again, I'm sort of curious if it's a prerequisite for anything. I kind of don't think so, but it's worth trying. Let's see if he can build there. Yes. Okay. Delightful. Got plus two coming up. We can make a catapult crew. There's defend. We need a blacksmith if we want to get melee upgrades. At this point, wherever it will fit. Okay, at this point, I'm building a decent army here, when in reality, we're mostly going to attack on this side. Mm, I'd love to find even another gold mine. Not that I necessarily need it right now. Probably want to get another oil tanker as well. We need that oil coming in at a faster rate. Let's see if we can find... Oh, okay. Um, we'll just build more. We can just build more towers around the edges here. All right, Mr. Oil Tanker. They really like blocking each other, don't they? Okay, and then we build a... Oh, so the Azeroth peasants can't build towers. Only the Stromguide guys can build towers. Interesting. And again, like the in in Warcraft One, there weren't there weren't towers, right? 
Or am I crazy? No, I don't think there were. Yes, okay, yes, good. Kill the thing that can drop. That's solid. Here's our blacksmith. Now we can get catapult upgrades. We can get these. That This is mostly gold. We can get all of these. That's all acceptable to me. What do I need in order to get a... Do I need a gnomish inventor? Is that correct? We can get a blacksmith for Stromgard as well, but this might be wasteful. I'm just... I'll, I'll try building it, but I don't think we need it. Okay, oil refineries pogging off. I would love at least two more destroyers, and then we need more farms. This is a cool... This is a really cool approach to this mission. I enjoy this quite a, quite a bit. Um... Obviously, it's not particularly challenging because there's really no threat to my, um... There's really no threat to my, um, my secondary base, so it makes this pretty, pretty simple. But that's, that's fine with me. I'm not going to complain about that. Flying machine. I think, presumably, we can repair the flying machines, too. Um, I probably just send these peasants down to start harvesting trees. I'm just going to have this dude fly all around the map. Gives clerics the ability to cast Holy Vision. I would love that, please. And then let's get two of them. Deo Gracia. Yeah, it's a it's a really clever clever idea here. With like again, it's like the it's the Warcraft one faction, partly. And um, let's come down here. Let's see if we can cram a an Elven lumber mill in down there. And I just tried to put them in the fog there, so it's possible he won't be able to make it. We'll see. We want to upgrade our boats, too, which means we need a foundry. Can both of these folks make a foundry? Yes, they can. We need a keep for the Elvish Inventor. Very expensive. Very expensive. Okay, let's get this foundry going, and then we get more dudes on lumber, which is about to happen. That's a catapult. Yes. Uh-oh. I come and cleanse this land. Orders? Is someone Okay, we'll get into it. Might as well use this vision. I am your servant. As you will. Right away. Okay. After all that, I'm concerned now we now we are going to lose cuz I wasn't prepared for that one thing. We can't fit. Okay, we'll worry about that in a second. I had Boats? We need boats to come down here and help us. Granted, boats are very, very good against... Um, I'm sorry, catapults are really good against boats. <laughs> Run! Okay, we're fine. I, I just need... Tr I need trees. All I need are trees. Do you think we can fit one in there? Okay, well, I built those two destroyers. They can sit down there. That guard tower is fine. Let's see if we can... Yes. Okay, good. So then we're going to have some lumber income there. You be a guard tower. We need to save up for a keep. I mean, I don't need a keep, but I would like a keep. So it's clear the enemy has to be in the upper right. We have to drop on them. We can build some forward barrackses. Um, this looks like a great spot to land, assuming it's connected. It looks like yes. So yeah, let's just land right there, and then we can build stuff on the edge. Okay, and then also assume that the enemy is going to... I upgrade ballistas? I, I guess. I, now I'm, I'm getting a little... I'm, I'm going overboard with my upgrades at this point. Because um, I, like, I upgraded catapults and ballistas. I didn't need to do that. Okay, I do like these Stromgard footmen. I like the idea of it. I mean, we can mix and match all this stuff together. Didn't I get defend? There's plenty of gold here. 
There is not another gold mine available for us to take, though. There's plenty of trees up here. We can go up there next once these are mined out. Having to actually expand just for lumber is an interesting thing that is really exclusive to Warcraft 2. Okay, repair there and there. I think we have access to more than enough gold now. We just have to actually build an army, load them up, and haul them over. Which, again, can be a bit painful. Let's just get three transport ships, and it will go back a couple times. Back and forth a few times. Holy Lance? Sure. Again, we actually have plenty of gold right now, so let's... Make the footmen. Useful against buildings and fortifications. Ballista's 900-300 versus... 900-200. I mean... Is there a reason we wouldn't just get the catapult crew from the Azeroth side? Because it's a little less lumber? Let's get one more dude on, on gold here. Get two more dudes on gold here. And then let's grab a keep, finally, so we can get a Gnomish Inventor. The, I mean, we already... I don't think we necessarily need a Gnomish Inventor, but it, it can't hurt. I think we have every upgrade available to us. Let's get two more ships. Leave them up here. Because they're bringing two ships at a time, but we have upgrades. I don't know if they do. Now, if we really want to get crazy... Never mind. I'm busy. Yeah, easy. Easy peasy. I think we have a big upgrade advantage right now. Um, it's just deciding, like, when is the best time to go. Um, we have... Probably too many crossbowmen up here. We have to remember to turn on defend when we go to take 50% of the damage from piercing attacks. Yeah, that's that's significant. That is really significant, isn't it? A gold mine is running low. Let's come on over here. We can start loading up. We'll, we can bring, again, we'll bring these peasants with us. We just build two barracks right in the front there, and we'll be in good shape. We can bring clerics with us and not have to remake them, hopefully. They might just get killed by a catapult, and then it wouldn't matter, you know? I feel like that's very likely to happen. Uh, let's bring a Stromgard peasant. We can make one of each. And then this is my defensive force. You love to see it. Repair. Head back here. We're good on oil for sure. I really don't think we're going to need more boats. I just queued up a couple more. So let's bring this transport boat up here, and then we can bring this group over. Grab an Azeroth peasant. Load him up. That guy is holding gold. I refuse to... To give up my 66 gold. Why are they returning 66? I'm just realizing this now. Is that a... Oh, I never read about... I never read about these. Hang on, we got more. Ranged Orc Lancer. They can use their shields to reduce incoming damage from ranged enemies. They can also benefit from defense upgrades. Avoid range duels wherever possible. Okay. Okay. So we want to be making mostly melee this time around. Can learn Hand of Mame. The Black Tooth Grin has sacrificed almost all of the Horde's magical practice in favor of goblin technology, and their grunts are just a taste of this feature. The benefit for more armor points with each defense upgrade. Hand of Mame is a special rod, which gives them feedback attacks. <laughs> you love to you love to hear it. You know what? No, we'll we'll come back for the catapults. Um, just bring footmen. Again, it seems like this faction is particularly good versus ranged units, so I don't want to build too many ranged units. Okay, let's do this. We can bring some boats over. And then... I didn't bring all my units because... Sorry, my brain is collapsing in on itself. Um, is there a reason that you didn't build? Here, you. I would like you to make this. So we can only build on the, the light-colored patches on the ground, worth worth pointing out. So we'll wait until we, we can build our Azeroth thing later. We'll just roll on back here, pick up these other guys. I'm going to assume the catapults take up two slots. I don't know for sure. We're about to find out. Ah, oh, ouch. But don't worry, we have catapults here. 
Oh, okay, that didn't... I thought that would just honestly just outright destroy the boats. It did not. Okay, come on over. Please. Okay. Alright, it's fine, because now we can make footmen here. The good footmen? Yeah, they don't have defend, actually, so they're, they're not that good uh, when we're attacking an enemy base. Okay, please don't tell me there's more up here. There's not. This is just wide open. There might be a base we could take. Um, yeah, it's just it's just a lot of towers. I think we just need to bring those catapults over. Didn't I bring those catapults over? No, they never got loaded up. Okay. I'm not going to build... Uh, okay, I'll build more farms. You got me, game. You talked me into it. We got to bring these dudes over to get more trees. Again, if we don't destroy this base in one go... Then it gets a little scarier. We are under attack. Catapults do only take one slot. Nice. Okay. So, again, we, we left a few dudes back here. Everything's fine. Probably too many dudes back here. Um, catapults. Let's bring these up. And, again, we have to meticulously move through these bases. You move up. You draw out the enemy defenders. Don't get pulled too deep in because, again, cannon towers can just absolutely ruin your basic infantry. So we just kind of inch with catapults. It'll be great. It's going to be great. I can build ballista here, too. Let's build some more. Oh, yeah. That... that Attack sound is... It's spooky. Yes, give me that... Give me that health drain. I, I can never visually tell the difference between... Cannon towers... And guard towers. I'm way more scared of cannon towers for obvious reasons. Because I think those can just outright one-shot your... Infantry. That's just a normal guard, guard tower. That doesn't scare me. Okay, I don't want my catapults attacking anything except what I explicitly tell them. A hold fire on catapults would be really nice. That does not exist for obvious reasons. Well, it's not obvious, but that would be too easy. Um, attack the boats, please. Okay, let's back up here. We have plenty of units that can help us out. We have ballista here as well. They're leaving? Oh, they get ogres this mission. Maybe they only get one. We are under attack. Hello? Please? Attack? <laughs> okay. Let's bring these boats up here. Oh, that's a, oh, that's a lot. It's alright, we got catapults here. As long as my boats stay alive just a little bit, then my catapults will kill the boats, the enemy boats. Cool. And then you build our barracks here. Let's keep spamming out some footmen. Yes, my friend. Stromguard footmen with the health the health drain. And then these dudes should just leave defend on forever at this point. Okay, let's inch forward and see if we can take out their town hall. Nestled catapult. Got him. Catapults are scary, man. They're not as good as they I think they were in Warcraft 1, though, at least. That was rough. That was a rough experience. They have so many catapults. Okay, we're trying to use catapults to our advantage. Blacktooth Grin Ogre. Let's go for that Great Hall. Start making footmen. Okay, let's read about the Blacktooth Grin Ogre. They're a bigger example of how goblins' technology can formidably blend with brute force. They benefit from more armor points with each defense upgrade. Da Rend Guardian is a special armor which increases their ranged defense. So everything about Blacktooth and Bleeding Hollow seems to be, like, anti-ranged. So we just have to be cognizant of that and careful of that. Yeah, give me that Holy Lance. No, please, just, just uh, destroy the Great Hall. That's all you gotta do, man. Move in. 
Move in. You're blocking me. You're blocking me. And then we're getting healed out of combat. You love that. Um, I'm just going to build some more boats because I don't think we've found their sh Well, their shipyards are oh, up to the left. There's one right there, too. They have a lot of a lot of pre-placed catapults, it feels like. Okay, so part of the challenge is getting through these bases before they can rebuild substantially. Let's just get more catapults because now it's just all about getting how fast can we get through these these bases, you know? Ballista's 41 to 96. Catapults that's have a little bit more HP, and I think they cost less, right? So... Okay, I think we've done it. I think we're through. But you can see how it felt like we had a pretty big numerical advantage, and yet even still, we um, we struggled a little bit getting it through this base. I mean, to be fair, our, our options are not super fantastic yet. Hopefully, eventually, they will be, but right now, it's not like we have... You know, we don't have knights yet, or, or paladins, rather. Or, no, you get knights, and then they upgrade into paladins, right? Good job, boats. Nice work. Head on over and destroy that. Okay, eventually they'll kill that shipyard. One day, far in the future... And let's not accidentally kill a bunch of my own guys with my catapults. Uh, I was playing Maxim Akulov's version of these uh, of these maps. He submitted this map to Map Arena as part of Warcraft 3 Remembered, which is another Warcraft 2 remake that I'd love to showcase. Um, probably not right after this one, though, because that's too much Warcraft 2. Um, by the way, do these guys lifesteal off of buildings? Enemy units. It says enemy units. So probably not, huh? Okay, there we go. Um, and I, I AFK'd at the end while I was waiting for... I had to go to the bathroom. So I went to the bathroom and I was just like, oh, I'll just A-click through the base. And I came back and half my units were dead to friendly fire with catapults. Yeah, they're not... He doesn't heal from attacking the building. Just to confirm... That should do it? Maybe? Is there more up here? Right away, as you wish. Hmm, okay. Um, gyrocopter, get to it? Oh. It's always something stupid like that. That, okay, at least for the enhanced, right? For, for, the, for the classic, it's got to be, like, exactly how the original was, or as, you know, you don't want to remove the having to kill all this stuff, but for enhanced, maybe... Don't make oil platforms a requirement to have to be killed, at least in some maps where it makes sense to do so, like this one. <laughs> that is just, that would be a suggestion of mine. But there's another one up there, too. But you can see that when I started attacking, I just got really neglectful of my economy. And so now... Um, if this attack failed and I need to re and I needed to rebuild stuff, I would have been in way more trouble. Now, to be fair, I made this mission way more difficult on myself for no reason. I got upgrades for ballista and catapults, for example. I built a little bit of both faction instead of just focusing on one, so I ended up spending more on upgrades than I needed to. Um, you know, little things like that do add up to, you know, making this take maybe 10 more minutes than it otherwise would have. Stuff like that. But that's, it's okay. I'm not complaining about that, but I am pointing out that some of these videos probably will end up going on longer than they probably should. <laughs> like, this is a mission, again, we, we did, you know, it was like 20 minutes for all the previous maps, and now this one's casually 40. A cool 40. But that's how it's got to be. Island hopping takes a long time. You have to island hop to get just, like, kind of incremental resources, and then you don't know which which expansions you have to defend. Like, this one we didn't have to defend, but I left units there. They could have been here. Uh, in the bottom base and would have saved me, you know, some resources from having to rebuild defenses down there when they got wiped, etc., etc. And that's how it goes, man. That's how it goes. Thanks everyone for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.